So I found a little baby Misty. And here you're looking at her. Little baby Misty. This is what she looked like when she was about one years old. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are at an estate sale. Now, I have been to this estate sale, this very place before, because it is being held in a funeral parlor. So I have a video on this if you want to check that out. The very first time it was a private pick, but today it is the real estate sale. The real, it's the real estate sale. And we're going to go on inside here and see what we can find. It's 50% off day. I waited. I didn't go to the the, the opening of it because I kind of had my first pick, but also they have been bringing in more things even after I left because there was just so much. So there's going to be things here, even on 50% off day that we didn't see before, but I'm really excited. Let's go inside. All right. We're going in the front this time. Five dollars, so it'll all be 50% off. Some bottles, or jars, old judge. People collect those. Look at that. That'd be $200 today. Some food, it's just pretty, these decanters. They don't have their stoppers, but it's really pretty. This one is eight, <laughs> so before apple blossom bubble. That's really pretty. I think I want that. Be four dollars. I'm gonna get that. We've got some interesting bottles too. Team, really cool. These are all, ooh, so that'd be five dollars. Oh my gosh, that's huge. It has a chip on the side there. It's just so large. This one is only $2.50. I'm gonna get that. I'll add that. There go. Oh. And this one, so pretty. Be five. That's California pottery. That's really pretty. That glaze. That'd be five dollars today. Did somebody buy this syrup tin? I found that I wasn't here yesterday. Somebody got it yesterday. Okay, thank you. Right. Like ten dollars. Okay. Uh, that's fifty. Fifty dollars. Yeah, and it's a replica, so. Oh, okay. I do too. Yeah, I apologize. I can't make that decision, but Piggy can. can. He likes to do that. I you know? said, <laughs> so I'm sure you hate seeing his thumb. These bombs, the guy I have this at home already. Look at these. They have their little boxes still. You don't see that. So this is Jeanette. Jeanette made different ones of these with different animals on top, the little powder jars. So it's like a throwback kind of a piece. Antique classics. That has a big craze line on it. And these might be treasure craft, actually. They look like treasure craft. Let's take a look at them. No, I don't see any marking on them. But that tin back here looks kind of nice. The green one. Oh, it's will be ten. Razors are would be a dollar fifty each. Oh, well now these tins are cool. So that'd be 50 cents. And then, I'm not sure about these. Boot cream. 
It's boot cream. Yes. Oh, a Hershey tin. That's really cool. That'd be two fifty. Although this is nineteen eighty one, so I don't think I will. I'll just get this one though. It's a pretty good price. Oh, and there's more down here. Here's an older Hershey one right here. I don't see a price on this, but I guess we'll find that out. Well, I spotted this pillow. It has this hound's tooth pattern on it. It's really cool. So it's a dollar. I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm not sure why. It's just calling my name, so might as well. Well, it's a clear glass that I'm going to pretty much ignore. Much to your dismay, I'm sure, because we have lots of people with all different things they like, but these are the boopy pattern in the clear. Lots of bells, etched glass, pitchers, cups, pilsner glasses. Look at the little fish. Now, why are they still here? They're only, they'd be five. I've never seen this pattern before. I wonder if they have a date on them. Usually they're marked on the sides. Gosh, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Miller Studios made a lot of these, but this one I've never seen before. Well, I'm for sure going to get this, so that'd be five. That is a deal. Oh, I almost took the tablecloth with me, but are you old? No, I don't know. I found one of these globes, a little globe, globe bank made by Ohio Art. This is actually in really good shape though because there's no dents in it. It needs a stopper, which isn't a big deal, but these sell for about $12. So we'll see if I can get it for a dollar. I don't know, there's not a price on it, so I need to find out. 50 cents, be 25 cents? 25 cent little mouse and a thing. Oh my gosh, I've got to get that. Oh. That looks like it's in good shape too, the redware. Hmm. There's a potpourri little thing. Very nice shape. Wishing well. Crafted bird. Hmm. I'm gonna get these two for sure. The last time I was in this room, they had it. It was really, it was really disorganized. But now they've got lots of clean rows and clocks. I don't think I'll be getting any clocks because I'm pretty sure they're going to be expensive. What does this say? Oh, actually not, $5 choice. And that would be 250, but it looks like this would be a big bin, uh, West Clocks. They have all these little cuckoo clocks, mostly for parts, because this is missing the top piece. This is missing, well, everything, pretty much. The hands, the weights. We have a little bit of a cuckoo clock uh, collection at home. So we don't need any more. These are collectible. People, people like those, the Polaroid land cameras, all that's cracked. But I used to, I sold one of these for about $30 once. And then I sold another one that had the light unit on top for about the same as well. Ooh. That's damaged on top, unfortunately. It's really pretty though. This one is cool. Sessions. I wonder if it works. Oh, the back plate is cracked. So, I mean, there's various reasons that most of these are still here. But there's some interesting ones for sure. Like this. Look at that. With the way that looks. The bottom is of oil lamps. Be great if you needed parts. Look at those big chalkware plaques. I think they're chalk. Yeah.
Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if it works. That's really fun. Just found this, a little fish tank piece for be a dollar fifty. So that's a fun little fun little one. Oh, I see crap on the back kind of, don't I? Well, I think I'm just gonna put it right back down. I don't think I will with the crack on it. Okay, let's keep going. We have this back area. Oh, there's some Fenton, Silvercrest, a hobnail. Ooh, the little skunk. The little skunk all by himself. I don't think it's a salt and a pepper, it's just a single skunk. Well, I think I'll get that one. Very good. Well, I'm in the toy room now. I don't see a price on this, but it's a little rubber toy. It says made in something or other, but it's Alan J. I don't really buy a lot of toy stuff, but I'm trying. So I believe it's 50 cents because it was right here. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to pay much more than, well, I guess it'd be 25 cents, wouldn't it? Although, Miss Piggy's ten dollars oh, Miss Piggy, you took a fall. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's kind of scary. There's a, one of those monkeys. Well, this is sort of an inside joke, but there's something called Little Baby Jeffrey floating around. And Misty, thrifter, junker, vintage hunter, likes to joke. So I found a little baby Misty. And here you're looking at her. Little baby Misty. This is what she looked like when she was about one years old. One eye like to go open and close like that. There she is. This is only a dollar, by the way. All dolls are a dollar. Too bad I'm not into dolls, Martin. Look at them, they're really having a fit. Wow. Oh my, just close your legs, lady, or just turn around. Mmm, that's a lot of dolls. I guess I missed looking at this earlier when we were over here, but it looks like uranium glass. And I don't have my black light with me to make sure, but it'd be $5 today. And you get the little heart and the sherbet cups with the scroll work on there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance. It, th there's a good chance that they don't glow, but I don't have my black light with me. So that's, I guess, on me. But for $5, I'm, I really can't go wrong, I guess. But if, as long as they're um, uranium, they should go for five, 10, 15, 20, maybe about eight to $10 for this little heart. So I will get those. All right, well, I just finished up at the estate sale and I did really well. I spent a total of, now I forgot, 78? It was either 68 or 78. And so I got a lot of great things and I was surprised to have found so much considering I was here already. But like I said, they had put a lot more out since I was last here. And so this was a really, this was a really good sale for me. And I hopefully had a good time shopping here in the funeral parlor once more. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.